Hello, Steve from Seaside Lockman Channel and I'm busy working on my leaf composting today and uh, I'll show you what uh, I'm experimenting with. So I filled this bin, um, about one metre cubed with leaves, um, well about uh, 48 hours ago and uh, it's heating up pretty nicely. Just imagine the amount of energy that's being generated to heat a cubic metre to uh, nearly 60 degrees in such a short time. Um, and I have an interesting mix really that I use. Um, I don't like to just use all leaves because I want all this composted down and ready to use in late spring. So I take my leaves and I mix it with some horse manure. You can see the mix here. Um, and this particular mix is pretty good actually. It's, there's a lot of actual uh, droppings in it and you know fine kind of not quite sawdust but uh, not far off sawdust. And then where the uh, when, when I run out of horse manure which I am doing at the moment because we're a bit short on the plots uh, I mix in a bit of this chicken pellets to add a bit of nitrogen and as I always do uh, whenever I'm composting I'll put some volcanic rock dust in the mix and I add the volcanic rock dust because uh, you know on sandy soil here and the uh, rain soon washes the nutrients out of the soil so I like to add as much in the way of minerals back into the soil as I can um, and so each uh, three bins basically uh, as I fill three bins I use about a bag of volcanic rock dust um, which I think is about five pounds something like that um, and I really like to add it to the compost because I think uh, it's the it's the bacteria and the fungi in the compost that break the uh, rock dust minerals down and make them bioavailable so uh, that's the theory anyway whereas if you just put it straight in the soil um, there's a lot less bacterial activity in the soil than there is in a in a really nice hot compost heap and then when I wet the leaves down because they have to be pretty wet I had this stuff, which I got for free, uh, I won it in some sort of competition or whatever, um, and I don't like to add this to the plants themselves, um, but it is full of nitrogen and minerals again, so I don't mind watering with it, um, and so I wet the leaves with it, and again that's sort of giving them a nitrogen drench, and I only use a little bit, um, but uh, effectively this is, you know, the equivalent of the horse urine in the... Uh, in the manure, so uh, and it does claim to be quite rich in minerals. This particular one, um, so I got a couple of boxes of this free last year, um, and I'm also going to use it when I build my hotbeds, and for the same reason that I'll, I'll water the uh, the manure going into the hotbeds um, to give it a, an extra nitrogen boost and make sure that all the wood in the uh, in the horse manure mix, the horse bedding mix really, uh, make sure that gets uh, rotted down and keeps the compost bin hot for longer. That's again the theory. It's hard to do experiments really because I just don't do um, well proper controlled experiments because I just don't do enough composting um, to uh, to try out lots of different options and see what result, what the different results are. So we'll just have a go and see what works, what seems to work. Um, okay, so I, I don't know whether I mentioned at the start, but this bin was heaped full, you know, it was right, right up here uh, with compost two days ago. So you can see the fall um, that you get. And I'll probably be filling this probably with another barrow load like this every few days now for about a week and then this once this bin is full and it's stopped falling I'll give it a turn into uh, this this empty bin and then I'll turn these other two bins as well and uh, yeah and then it'll be done and then in probably I don't know April May time probably when I've got plenty of space in these black bins um, or these plastic bins rather that then uh, I'll move I'll mix this 
mix here with some seaweed from the beach and the compost in these two bins uh, into these three. The other thing I do when I'm adding new leaves into this mix is I will add a few handfuls of this well rotted manure um, well rotted compost rather because this is that this seeds it then with loads of really good uh, bacteria and fungus so again that's uh, part of my experimental uh, approach all right well I shall get on with that and see what it looks like in a minute there we go that's the uh, first barrel load done and you can see you know it's quite a, a nice mix there of uh, the horse manure and the leaves and the other thing is I find that the leaves just become a, a really badly matted mess um, if you don't add the manure if you add the manure stuff it just kind of breaks it up and it makes it easier to turn and uh, keep a bit of air in the mix as well so uh, just I read an article today about how you shouldn't start sentences with so and then I noticed that uh, pretty much every sentence I start on these videos uh, starts with so. Anyway, I will uh, try and improve on that. And I need another barrel load because, uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot more still to uh, fill in this bed. This is the, uh, there we go, so again, this is the leaf pile that uh, I'm taking from at the moment. We've got a lot more over there in bags and we'll have a lot more deliveries uh, after this. And these leaves are not the best, really. Um, the best ones that we get um, are from the kind of vacuum machine, vacuum, um, like leaf blowers run in reverse, basically. Um, because they do, a sh they shred the leaves um, uh, to compress them uh, for storage in the bags. Um, whereas, you know, obviously these are just uh, being scooped up. But the benefit of these scooped up ones is at the bottom, there's a lot of soil in these. And a lot of this soil, I, I think, is probably worm castings. Uh, because when you get leaves left for a month uh, on the top of the soil, the worms come up to the surface and start to, uh, to feed. And they leave loads of worm castings. And so this, you can see the worm castings in here. And that's my guess because I don't think we get leaves that have come from the roadside. I'm pretty sure these leaves all come from the park. So, oh my goodness, so, 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 every time. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go fill this barrow. Now, for completeness, I thought I would just also show you some simpler ways to uh, process your leaves. You can see all those black bags. So about this time last year, pretty much exactly this time last year, I filled those bags with leaves. And I just put some water in the bags, punched a few holes in the sides and left them piled up there. And this is the result. So these are not fully rotted down, but they are pretty good to say that no effort was required to get to this point. And you could probably use those quite effectively as a mulch, but uh, we will either leave those in the bags or more likely we will mix those into one of our compost, uh, active compost bins. And another three or four months time in an active compost bin, they'll be ready to use. Another 12 months time in the black bin, bag they'll also be ready to use um, so that is another way and of course you could just fill a bin and leave it and in a year or two's time that will also be ready to use but this way that I'm doing it based on last year's experience at least this uh, bin will be ready to use next year so so again anyway there we go that's uh, this bin full not as full as I'd like I would like it another foot high but uh, I don't have time or the materials to uh, get it that full today and next time I come back to look at it which will probably be on Monday I suspect this bin will be about uh, a third the size it is right now so okay that's the end of this quick video 
Uh, so I hope you found that interesting. And just to point out yet again that this is not necessarily the best way to do things. Um, I just like messing around and trying new things. Um, and there's a lot easier way. Uh, and I'm sure if you just uh, read any book or any article or whatever, you know, it'll say that you can just uh, put leaves in a wire mesh container and just leave them and you'll get a really great leaf mould. I'm sure that's true. Anyway, that's the way I'm doing it and uh, take it as you will. See you soon.